Right, howdy folks, welcome back to Old Stream Farm. Now, in the last episode we were, well, we were mowing, weren't we? We were getting that grass, um, getting that grass dropped. Now, today's episode, yeah, I've got steady on. Right, how spaz he is. <laughs> Still off. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going to see, well, see how far we get. Um, but we're going to get the little field done. <clears throat> Get that tethered out and then we'll see if we can get it bailed so i've got the tether out just doing a bit of work on it here um it's a nine meter vicon and um change this primarily because it is of its width but also because it's not that heavy it's quite a light one compared to um a lot of the others and these tethers can weigh a lot they really can weigh a lot so um like i say it's quite a light one so this is about ready, so if we jump in the old uh, 44, fire up, and uh, we'll go and um, get this field um, fluffed down, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can. Well, I bought the bale; it should be up at the dealership. Um, the uh, the little massy round bale, uh, conventional baler. So. Uh, We'll nip out the main entrance. The time is now 12 o'clock. Oh, right, oh. I've got uh, that is <laughs> that is a CB mod that you can get uh, just on PC, I think. And um, what it does is this: which for when you've got um, people helping you, they sort of um, relay messages like when they're getting nearly full with the combine or if they're finished or something like that. Um, tells you over the CB which is you know I've not really used it yet but it does sort of crackle into life now and again so um, yeah just a bit more realism in it nip out and open to get still yet to fill this um, Ford in anymore so it's a bit uh, I won't have to do it before we pull bows out oh, yeah no that's not good is it although it's, a, it's only way into that field it's just as deep as the blooming ditches it ain't filled in at all we will sort that out anyway It's not going to take very long to do this. Oh, oh that's good. Look at that. It's um, highly accurate. time since I've made hay in farming simulator so I'm not entirely sure how quick it does it is it instant or not we'll find out I'm guessing no come on let you go some reason my lift don't want to work It's obviously changed colour, so um, possibly means it's immediate you can do it. Probably is actually, to be fair. Must take that um, 7000 series home.
So I asked you on the um, previous video about that field. Um, what should we do? Well, I think it's fairly overwhelmingly we'll um, uh, take that hedge out and make it into a big field. And that was that was my thinking as well. So uh, that is what we'll do <laughs> whenever we get round to that. There's just uh, so much to do, isn't there? Always so much to do. But uh, this is one of the, you know, the top priorities. Get some, get some food for the animals. You know, see if we can do that uh, in this month and then next month. Um, we'll have to get on drilling big style, and I mean big style. That field nearly done. A yeah, nice animation, actually, a bit of chucking it out the back. Plunge through this um, stream again. Come on, sweetheart. Yeah. Where's that gate? Right, we're good to go. What's the fence? Now, I wonder if we've got, you know, that spoil part. I wonder if we've got some, uh, some of that. If we load some of that up and tip in that um, stream, that might do it. It's a possibility. Soon we won't be able to get the big little bay through there, will we? Lovely little nimble track to this Is that done? I'm going to drop the top uh, tether off. So we'll, poss well, we'll probably make some big bell hay as well, but we'll just concentrate on this little field for now. Get this. Um, little field done because we've got to 
you know, experiment a bit with conventional bales. So, um, and I've never used conventionals on the game, so it should be interesting. Drop this in front of this wooden stuff. I'll get the rake on. Oh, so I just hopped in the 419. Hopefully, I can just go into that pile of spoil and um, snip that up the road, and that, you know, and tip it in that ditch. That's what I'm hoping. Whoa! Fuck it, she's heavy, isn't she? Nine strongly, but I think we better tip that out a bit. Oh, we'll girl, we'll, we'll lose a bit of that if we won't need it all. Alright, so I've got a bit of a bucket full of stones. I haven't got too much because um, <laughs> it's mega heavy and the 419 can't handle it. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we've got 65% in there. And um, you can see actually, yeah, front wheels are squabbing quite badly where rear wheels are not doing a lot but they are steering now so um, we just nip up the road and t I'm, hoping, you know, I'm hoping it'll work and then um, we just use load if we need to just to level it It'll be easier than loading up with a digger um, Tipping it with the, you know, tip, using the fast track tipping, and then, um, you know, then I'm going to go there with something like this to level it out. So I'm going to just uh, quickly nip up there. Ooh, she's she's well light, well light on the ooh, easy girl. Oh, cocky Nora. Not laying the bucket, I can't tip it. Tip a bit of it. Come on, put your wheels on the dirt. There we go. Right. <laughs> God, that was hard work, wasn't it? So we've got a lump in there. Not ideal. But if we cross over now, we should be able to do that. Oh, it's all exciting, isn't it? So, I think I need to get some more material. Well, yeah. We can put another bit in there and level that. I don't think we'll be too far off.
Right, I've had to get rid of that 419, it just wasn't man enough, so... I've gone back to another favourite, New Orleans W190, it's much heavier, more powerful. And should be able to, um... Should be able to easily handle, um, this bucket. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll hope so, won't we? So, right, let's, um... Take another bucket full. Oh, that's better. One ninety's got no bother with it. Right now, fingers crossed, we get on better this time. Some more, yeah, as well. Make it a bit wider. Well, it's looking better. I think we need another scoopful. Let's see if we can do some smoothing. I don't know if we can. I think. When it's under the water, it limits what you can do, which is a shame. Yeah, see? Looking better though. I think we are, no, we are levelling that. Oh, we are, we are, we are, we are. Smoothing, rather. Well, no, I didn't really want a bucket full there, did I? That's much better than the New Holland, though. Stable platform. 419 was just not man enough. Just a hole there I wanna. Put some in. Well, I'm happy with that. I may refine it a bit more in the future, but uh, I certainly made the crossing a bit more level. It's not super level. Then again, it's not easy. Uh, that's, yeah, that's better. I'm happy with that. <laughs> right, we're going to lose the wheel loader. Uh, come in with a rake. Get some hay made. What is my dog doing there? Go back home. Honestly. Where are you? 
Yeah. Right. Go on, away you go. Send him home before you get run over. This car to come past. Way that's one dead deer. <laughs> Test out my new Ford. Yes. Lovely job. Right, I'll fold this girl. Let's fire them up with them off the ground, so they've got no load on them. This is actually the Samaz rake. Um, there's not a lot of option really for two rotor rakes. This could be the only one. There's two or three single rotors. This one, then there's a three rotor, which is unusual. Sweeps it all to one side, and then you've got um, then there's uh, the four rotors, which are you know very big, very big. Don't think there's a six rotor yet in game. Obviously, the class. I think well, I think most manufacturers do them. But I don't think there's any six rows in great, but again, they're humongous. You know, even a four rotor in this field would be hard work. You know, you still get a um, good bit done with a two rotor. Now, what's this, eight and a half metres or something, somewhere around there? Something like that, anyway. No bother for the little John Deere. No ideal tractor on the front of this. I'd say it's a powerful tractor, was she? 140 horsepower, I think. No, no bother to power this rake. back in here and then we'll loop round to catch the next bit just like that. This is exactly what I would do in real life and exactly what I would just do in game. Church bells are toll tolling. Fold her up and get back over. Let's go about picking up these uh, conventions as well. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. There, it's all um, you know, logging manpower. What? <laughs> come on, little forty-four forty. You can get over that. Honestly, what am I stuck on? Oh, you're joking me. I got stuck on that little bump. Unbelievable. They've got my arms down. You can't, you can't lift them up. Hmm. I can't believe she's stuck on there. Oh. What the? <laughs> what the? I'm not sure what happened there. 
Let's try that again. There you go. That was an effort, wasn't it? We, <laughs> we made it. Right. that fence it's quite a good idea that CB mod it's a shame there's just an op you know a bit you know not a bit more chatter on it like obviously uh, I've not tried a worker on it yet to see what uh, what it does but uh, yeah, it's quite interesting there Soon sheepies, soon sheepies will have some food for you. Right, so that is the hay made. In the next episode, we'll get the uh, baler picked up and uh, get it baled and then obviously get it carted as well. And then hopefully, you know, we can get some of this hay fed to the cattle and the sheep because they're desperate for it. So anyways, that's uh, for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, see you on the next one. Ta-ta!